Today we're going to be looking at this Zeus Tough Series LC water cooler, which we've got installed in this case here. We're going to actually see how it performs and if it can keep up with, say, something like a 13th gen i7 processor. In the ever-evolving world of gaming, it's essential to have components that keep pace with your demands. And for those who prioritise both aesthetics and performance, the Zeus Tough Gaming LC240 ARGB might just be the water cooler you've been searching for. It promises not only to keep your CPU cool under intense gaming sessions, but it also adds a splash of colour to your gaming rig. Designed mainly for mid-sized gaming builds, this cooler features Aura Sync enabled ARGB lighting elements that adorn the radiator fans and the CPU block is covered with an ARGB Tough Gaming logo. It's not just about the looks though, with its powerful motor coil, high volume impeller and a large cold plate, you're guaranteed performance that is as impressive as its appearance. At first glance, the packaging can be slightly misleading. Dominated by the massive tough logo, it might be a tad challenging to discern the product within, unless you're acquainted with the brand. However, the back of the box more than compensates with a glossy product image, features and specs ensuring you know exactly what you're getting. Once inside, the packaging is mostly straightforward. With the exception of the manual and stickers, the components are enclosed all in single-use plastic bags. The box contains all fittings required for mainstream CPU sockets, two 120mm Tough Gaming 12 ARGB fans, and the water cooler with pre-applied thermal paste. Setup was easy to do on our Intel i7-13700K and Z790 board. All you have to do is attach the two fans to the radiator, push the back plate onto the obviously back of the motherboard, put the four standoff screws on the CPU side, take the plastic cover off the CPU block, put the CPU block on the CPU and add the four screws and attach the radiator to the PC and daisy chain up the cables and plug them in. Less is more when it comes to the RGB on the CPU block. The tough logo is fully RGB and that's roughly about it. With the exception of the fans which are on the radiator, they are lit up like most traditional ARGB fans. Styles and looks is really down to you and the components you've got in your computer, so basically it'll do whatever your controller on your motherboard or separate controller will let you do. Impressively, the pump within the CPU block operates at near silence. As for the fans, they remain quiet at low speed. However, during CPU intensive tasks and if the fans need to go up to 100%, they can become a bit more audible. This though is a common trait across every PC fan. After a 48 hour stress test, the cooler showed no signs of fatigue. However, our temperature tests on the Intel 13700K CPU, known for its heat output, showed a peak of around 91 degrees Celsius, room temperature of 21.5 degrees. In reality, for an i7, I would probably recommend the 360mm version of the fan. While the 240 does cope, it does obviously struggle, especially with the high temperatures. Obviously, high temperatures means high fan speed, which also means lots more noise. But this water cooler would be absolutely fine for something like an i5 processor, or lower, or AMD equivalent. For those aiming for an intersection of performance and aesthetic appeal, the Zeus Tough Gaming LC240 ARGB presents a compelling choice. It brings to the table reliable performance, coupled with eye-catching design elements that are sure to make your gaming rig the envy of many. Whether you're a hardcore gamer, someone who craves a silent operation, or a high-end product enthusiast, this cooler ticks most boxes, making it a worthy addition to your arsenal. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.